What's up ladies and gentlemen, it is me, the Dom Fanatic, and welcome to week two of the GPC. Uh, this week we are up against, what, uh, I can't even say his name now, Merc is what I meant to say, uh, aka Mr. Mercrow, and his team is the Burger Kinglers, I want to say. Um, yeah, week two, I believe Merc won week one, um, so instantly, you know, he's kind of got that momentum advantage coming into the game. Um, I haven't got my draft or his draft in front of me, but the few things I remember from team building, um, I apologise because I had this game on Thursday last week, and I also team built last week as well, so not much of it is very fresh in my memory, which isn't very, you know, useful or educational, but hey, it'll have to do. Um, all I know is his defensive core of Toxapex, Bronzong, and um, the Tangrowth, which I want to add, ew, uh, is completely broken down by Mamo or Victini uh, on their own. So I'll quickly go over my sets. Um, I have got Adamant, uh, Mamo Swine, uh, with Knockoff, Icicle Crash, Earthquake, and Ice Shard, I believe, because he does have Lando uh, Incarnate, and he has uh, Tornadus T, yeah, which you can see on the screen. Um, overall, it just kind of hits his core really hard. Um, partnered with a special Victini, which I'll go over in a second, kind of breaks his main defensive core down really well, um, which is really nice. And as you can see, his team... Um, is pretty weak to ground and ice that he's bought anyway. So, Mamo, huge threat this game. Uh, got Choice Scarf Braviary, which is fast enough to outspeed non scarf Lando and the Tornadus. Um, pretty much just hits his team really hard. Plus, I need something to kill uh, Mega Heracross if it got out of control. Uh, special uh, Victini with Flame Charge, Psychic. Um, what is it? Blart? No. What's the one that. It's one, the one that Reshiram or Kyrum white gets um that one blue flare that's the one and i believe i can't remember what the other move is um but it's psyche mz uh one shots max percent uh, max per death uh tox specs i am modest for flame charge and after plus one speed i will outspeed his whole team barring scarfers um next we've got fizz death skarmory because i desperately needed something for he mega heracross um obviously floor just could take the arm thrusts maybe but not much else um It'd still be doing a lot of damage with things like Rock Blast and, and all that. So um, it partnered up well, though, with Floor just because it does take on things like Dramper um, and the Tornadus quite well. Um, so that's kind of my defensive core for this game. And then didn't really know what to bring for the final slot, so I bought Heliolisk here um, just because it kind of does quite well against the team. It's it, Merc's speed tiers are weird in this draft, so it's not fast enough to outspeed his fast things, but it's too fast to outspeed his slow things. So modest um, with Expert Belt, I believe. Uh, with U-Turn in case he bought a Lando, uh, Thunderbolt, Hyper Voice, and I want to say HP Flying, because um, I believe Volt Switch doesn't break a sub on a max special defense Heracross, and I was worried he could potentially bring Bulk up. So um, that's the team. Uh, let's just get straight into this. So I do lead with the Braviary because I am Scarf. It's the safest bet, really. Um, he has a Heracross in here. I'm going to click Brave Bird, and that does a lot of damage to a Toxapex. Um, didn't count, so I don't know if that's defensive or not, but um, I do switch out, obviously, because I'm locked in. I don't want to be taking that much recoil. And uh, he hasn't really got an electric switch in other than Tramper. Uh, even then, 20% is quite nice, but it kind of reveals he's... Well, I don't even know if it does reveal he's bulky, because Tramper's quite bulky anyway. Here I kind of derp. Um, I thought I had Heal Bell on my uh, floor just, but I forgot that I put Protect on it instead, so unnecessarily poisoned on this thing. But again, if I wanted to defog, Skarmory's not really a free switch, because I'm pretty sure that thing gets Flamethrower and Thunderbolt, so you could kick either of them moves and, and you know, destroy my Skarmory. I do manage to get a Wish Up, I am going to switch out into my Skarm, because Rocks and Toxic Spikes is not doing my team any favours. Um, I know he's going to have Heat Wave, and I think I can probably live one, but fortunately for me, he misses the Heat Wave, which is lovely. Um, I'm not quite back to Sturdy, but I do decide to stay in, because it's going to be my chance to get out of Rocks. Um, he has no removal, um, unless it's on Comfy, I think Comfy gets Rapid Spin. Um, but that was my chance to get Rocks up. I'm going to get into Floor just here because he's either going to want to get his rocks up. He might have Heavy Slam. Not too sure. But either way, the switch into Victini is, is excellent at this point. Um, and it gives me a free chance to Flame Charge. Now, uh, this Tox Specs, I believe it's pretty much, I think it was 89.6 to 106% to Oko Max for Death um, Tox Specs. So, definitely a nice kill there. And his Tox Specs is gone, which is obviously always an annoying Pokemon to try and take out. But can't really touch this Dramper too much because it's so bulky on the special side. Uh, and it does have Roost, so that's kind of annoying. I'm going to go into my floor just because it's a solid answer to this thing. But he reveals he has Carmine, and that's kind of scary. Um, I risk clicking Protect there because, well, I didn't want him to, to hit me with a hard move while I needed to recover. 
Um, but I do manage to get that Moonblast off, and the Hyper Voice isn't doing that much damage after a plus one. Maybe indicating it's not invested. Um, I knew Moonblast wasn't going to kill, um, but luckily for me I do get the special attack drop when Berserk activates again. Um, so it, he's not going to be doing too much damage, but I kind of have to let uh, Floor just die here because I have to get rid of this threat that is in front of me. He can just roost up as much as he wants, but I kind of want it gone. So. Fortunately for me, actually, I do live, um, and I do manage to get the Wish up. So I'm going to go into Skarmory, and I'm going to click the Defog. It gets rid of his Reflect, and I'm going to get my uh, my Roost off. Oh, sorry, I'm not going to get a Roost off. I'm going to get my Defog off. I'm not going to get my Rocks up, sorry. Um, I'm thinking I might potentially be able to leave a Heat Wave here, but I, again, didn't do the Calcus at the time, so I don't know. But the death of that thing means I can bring in my uh, Victini. Now, he goes for the Supersonic Sky Strike, and I'm quite surprised it didn't kill me, to be honest. Um... But as you can see, the Flame Charge does decent damage, and then I'm just going to go for the Blue Flare, because uh, it's the strongest move I have, and it does take out the uh, the Tornadus. Now, this is pretty much where the game just dies any competitiveness in this game, because in comes the Comfy, and um, the fact that Comfy is dumb, and me also making a misclick a bit later on, kind of just loses me the game here. Um, the fact he's got to plus one means I can't do over half with Blue Flare, and I'm just kind of banking on a burn at this point, uh, if I can even burn, but I don't get one, obviously, so he's a plus two. Comfy isn't the strongest, so it's not going to be a two-hit KO, um, and I click Earthquake, and I'm like, excellent, I get a crit, that's done a lot of damage, um, I might be able to take him out of Braviary, but here, instead of clicking Earthquake, I accidentally click Knock Off, and the fact that he loses Leftovers doesn't matter, because he's regaining health anyway. Um, and Earthquake damage would have been uh, really useful because it means Braviary could have potentially taken it out later on. Because we'll see, this Brave Bird does a lot of damage um, to Comfy. And after an Earthquake, who knows what would have happened. But at this point, I'm pretty much doomed to die to this thing because my Victini, while it resists the Draining Kiss, is incredibly weak. And I'm especially offensive, so I can't hit this thing very hard. Uh, and I just have to click Psychic and hope I can get some special defense drops or crit. Um, and that just leaves me with a Heliolisk, which, as we all know, is especially offensive Mon, and I can't really do anything to it again unless I get some crits, which I do, um, but there's no luck in me getting two crits in a row. Even then, uh, I, I can't take on the rest of his team. Heracross will just come in and finish me off, and I can't really effectively take down Bronze on where it's at either, so that was pretty much game over as soon as Comfy came in. Um, I obviously had a very good answer uh, in Skarmory, um, but Skarmory was dead at this point, it didn't even get to do its job, uh, which was take on Mega Heracross, because Merc didn't even need it. Um, I mean, I think everything hit the field, but as soon as uh, Skarmory and Floor just were gone, there was just nothing I could do, especially after I made the misclick, and that kind of tilted me after that point. But then again, there wasn't really much else I could have done to prevent this, other than try and keep my Skarm alive, which, um, I, I, in hindsight, I could have maybe lost Drop Heliolisk, um, knowing it wouldn't have really been doing too much else this battle, because it was there mainly for Toxapex. Um, but never mind, uh, it's a learning curve, Merc's a good player and Comfy, uh, which we both agree, and most people seem to agree, is is dumb. So, uh, good game Merc, make sure you check out all his links and stuff below, uh, obviously the GPC links too, uh, all the other coaches links will be there as well. Um, otherwise, I don't really have much else to say, uh, again, uh, apologies for this being late, Update is uh, upload day is Mondays, but I did make the guys aware it would be late this week. Potentially it could be late again next week because I'm in London celebrating my stepsister's birthday so sorry about that in advance if that is late again. Um, but thanks for watching this video guys and I will see you next time. Bye!